have any loading gear enabling devices tech support and today I'd like to go over with one of our products the Cheap Talk 8 scanning communicator item number 3051 and I would like to go over the scanning procedures for this communicator we get a lot of questions asked about how to use the different scan modes so I want to go over each one of those with you today um, just a quick reference this takes four AA alkaline batteries change their batteries right here by using a Phillips head screwdriver um, put your four AA batteries in here on the back of the machine there are some controls this is your on off volume control your scan speed adjustment knob um, there's a jack here labeled SW1 and then also SW2 that's for switch 1 and switch 2 this machine is able to do single switch and two switch step scanning Okay. Uh, scan beep, um, you'll get an auditory beep as the machine scans past each message or icon on the front. You can turn that on or off if you desire. Um, your playback delay adjustment is utilized for the last two modes of the machine, which would be auditory cueing, where the user would get to hear uh, sampling of the message. That will give you the amount of delay between um, how much of the message they will actually hear. Then you have your record button and also your microphone. These additional four jacks are for external switch use, um, but we're not really going to get into that today, but I just thought I'd mention the jacks on the back. So anyway, what I've done is I've recorded some messages on the front of the machine, and um, to make your recording, you would just depress the record button and then the cell and the speaker message. Um, there's also one important thing on the side of the machine is your scan mode button. This is utilized when you're changing the different modes. The machine actually has eight modes of scan. So let's get started and we'll go through each mode. First thing I'm doing is turning the machine on. When you turn it on, the machine is going to indicate the mode it's on and it beeped once. That's scan mode one. Uh, scan mode one is a manual scan where you'll be plugging and turn the machine around again plugging my machine uh, switch into switch jack one and what that's going to let me do is when I press and hold my switch the machine's going to go past each icon and you can also adjust this to be very fast or slow when Let's I, watch TV. When I release my switch, it's going to play the message that I've stopped on. Scan mode 2 is auto scan, where I press that switch once, release it, and the machine's going to automatically scan and continue to scan until I make another selection of, the, of that switch. To change the mode, it's very simple. Press your scan mode button first on the side of the machine, and press the cell, which is number 2. Wait till the machine beeps. It'll beep twice to let you know it's on scan mode too. Now the machine's ready to be used. Can I go home now? Okay. Scan mode three um, requires two switches, so we're going to plug our other switch into switch jack two. Again to change it. Once you press it, you can release it. The machine will beep to let you know what mode it's on. Um, so in this mode, I'm manually um, holding down my switch, and it's going to scan through each message. And then I'm going to release on the look on the selection I want. And then with the switch number two, the teacher is writing on the blackboard. To play back your message. We'll go to mode four now. Press your switch. Okay, mode four is auto two two scan two switch scan. So you press your switch, release, scans. Stop on your selection. Mode 5 is manual step scan.
So each time I press the switch, it will advance to the next icon or message. I love you. And modes only modes three, four, and five utilize the two switches. So we're done with the second switch. So I just removed that. Okay, now we'll move on to um, mode six and. Um, Mode, mode 6 doesn't require two switches, so um, only modes 3, 4, and 5 require the two switches. So we'll just remove that. And this is a um, manual step scan and with has a, what they call a playback delay. And we've exaggerated the delay a little bit just to show um, every time I hit the switch it's going to advance to the next message or icon. When I release the switch it's going to play that particular message but you can put a delay on it so it does not play right away. I'll demonstrate. Increase the delay. You can go from about one second to thirty seconds to delay for the playback. Okay. Uh, now we're going to um, 